Whatever you want to do. Sitting okay. in a chair. Okay. All right, Michelle. I mean, Danielle, this is, we'll see how this goes. This is attempt number two. Okay. Take two. Okay. Hey guys, this is Michelle Colker and Heather Wendlandt with Team Colker at Compass. And we wanted to just chat a little bit about this year in real estate, 2022. We have some visual aids for fun. Without further ado, here we are. All right, guys, strap your seatbelts on. Here we go. We got some fun visual aids together. Let's start off. Here we go. 2022 predictions. Let's get going. Michelle, what is happening? What happened in 2021? Real estate had a field day. So we had low inventory. Low inventory. And we're just going to sit there for a minute. So inventory low, which means there are no homes to buy, let's be honest. There was, the inventory was like deathly low, okay? <laughs> I mean, okay, it's like deathly. There was nothing out there. It was like bones, okay? Yeah, so basically what that means is that uh, in January, like a few days ago, there were 1,254 homes for sale. Um, that's, historically, that is, That's you know, like nothing, you guys. That's nothing. That literally is nothing, okay? <laughs> uh, but why was it low? Okay, well, it was low because essentially... Why? Well, COVID. First of all, people didn't want people in their house. I need to do this, but I mean, COVID did play a part in this. COVID played a part. Situation. Yes. Okay. So the issue is COVID <laughs> caused supply issues, supply chain issues, and it caused um, labor shortages. Mm -hmm. And as a result, people also didn't want to move out of their house. They wanted, they also left cities, moved out of the you know, essentially into the areas that have more space. Yes. People refinanced with these amazing historically low rates. And they said, where the heck would I go if I moved? Everything's expensive. And I got such a low rate that I don't want to pay more. Right. So anyways, point being inventory low. Inventory so low. We got those that. rates are also really low. Um, oh yes. The rates were historically spectacularly super duper low. Yeah. Like Pac-Man. Okay. Pac-Man <laughs> eating a ghost low. <laughs> okay. So rates were 2.65 at their lowest, um, in 2021 in January. Now they're 3.22 still insanely low. Ask your parents, ask your grandparents, those people that paid, you know, in the double digits. Um, COVID disrupted the economy and um, the government kind of just flooded some money and they bought mortgage backed securities. They kept these rates artificially low. So they're going to keep going up as our prediction. Um, it's not all bad news, but basically um, as things are getting better uh, with the vaccine rollout, we're getting a handle a little bit on this COVID thing. Um, yes. Um, we're seeing a lot of inflation. So people's wages are not increasing to the point that, uh, the cost of goods are increasing. So we flooded money with the economy. We are spending money, which is great. We're buying real estate and everything's more expensive right so, now. So like to give an example, this bottle of wine here was uh, in two, 2019, probably about $15. In 2020, about $18. And in uh, 2021, $25. Now it's probably going for about $27, just yeah. to give you an example. Yeah, so it's anticipated that the feds are gonna raise the rates two to three times this year two to three times in 2023, and that they'll go up about half a percent. Um, as we do get a handle on inflation, uh, we might not see the actual rates for homes go up as much towards the end of the year, but we are kind of steadily on the rise. Um, and what that means is that um, your $1.5 million home will cost Ooh. about $278 more. Yes, uh, If you have a a mortgage that's half a percent more, which okay. Heather is. Um, okay, so let's do the numbers. The I hope you guys can see this, but basically, if you're spending one point five million dollars on a house in what twenty twenty one, right? Twenty twenty one, and the interest rate was uh, what was it two six five, mm -hmm. and then that same house at, in twenty twenty two at 3.22%, which is today in January. And then let's say end of year, end of 2022, 
the interest rate goes up to 3.75, which is what we're, that's what we're hearing. That's what the NARS, National Association of Real Estate Agents are predicting. That's what Stephen Thomas, our local San Diego economist is, is, is estimating here. So essentially, what is, Michelle, what does that mean payment wise? So basically, um, again, $1.5 million home, you're gonna be paying with a half a percent increase, you're gonna be paying about $278 more a month. Okay. Um, uh, when they're raising rates, they're also, it's not, again, it's not all bad. You're incentivizing people to save a little bit because mm -hmm. the rate they're gonna get on having savings in the bank is gonna get them a better return. So it's, again, it's not all bad, um, but that is what's going on. Yep. Um, and, it does mean a higher monthly payment unless you're paying in cash. It does not mean prices are going down though. And part of the reason is that we have very backlogged demand. Yes, so the backlogged demand. And also, if we wanna get specific to San Diego, mm -hmm. we have, where the San Diego is the cheapest market in California that has and attracts the high paying jobs that can support the $2.5 million homes. So we have a very diverse biotech industry. We have Qualcomm. We have Apple who's moved into town because of 5G and Qualcomm. We have, we're basically on the verge of becoming what we think is like a Silicon Valley. Yes. And, and a minor right. trajectory and there. Part of that is from just what we call the work from home phenomenon that COVID brought about. We're now working from home. So what do we want in a home? It's different. We want more divided spaces that can accommodate two working parents yep. or you know multiple working people um and kind of like you were saying we just have a desirable climate lower cost of living than some of the places that people are moving from there you go we can surf <laughs> here yes we can okay um the climate is awesome yeah and then we have you know just the the backlog demand being the, the people that uh, missed out on you know the the 10 offers on the home nine people aren't getting that home um, what is this, Heather? This this is someone who missed out. This is someone who missed out on an offer, but yes. she did come with her sword, so she was ready to fight. That she's is she's gonna true. fight this year. Yeah, and then we have millennials who are now in their thirties right. and so, they're buying homes. So, so Bob Ross is our millennials here. Okay, they're they're also part of the purchasing power uh, that's adding to the supply and demand situation. Yeah. So we pretty much think that um, demand is gonna stay the same. It is not going down, uh, at least in San Diego, and particularly in North, particularly in North County inland, San Diego. Yes, we yeah. are North County inland and San Diego. Anyone that buys and sells right now is a winner. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and and no, it's all, not all rainbows and unicorns out there. But stick with it. You're going to be so happy when you buy this year or sell. You're going to make a lot of money. If you sell, but also when you buy, you're gonna have equity that can grow. You can stop being a renter and paying for someone else's mortgage. So and it's a prices great time. are going up eight to ten percent this year is our prediction with rates. Um, so what that I'm sorry, excuse me, not about rates, but if prices are going up eight to ten percent, then you buy now, your home is worth ten percent more at the end of the year. It sound it can sound ludicrous, especially when in 9127 and in particular Del Sur. Homes have appreciated 35% on average, um, which is astronomical, and that's over a two-year period. So um, when you take that 10% uh, um, price increase and you combine it with half a percent of a um, mortgage increase, uh, sorry, interest rate uh, increase, um, your payment on a one and a half million dollar home goes up $891. That's a lot of money. So um, 613 of that is due to just the 10% increase. Um, so as you can see, timing wise, you are better off purchasing now versus later on down the road. Doesn't mean that if something happens later on down the road that it's a bad time to purchase, mm -hmm. but if you're trying to, you know, we're trying to predict a little bit for the year, um, even though prices feel high, they're gonna be higher when Heather does this amazing get up in 2023. So anything else you want to add? Listen, it's not going to cool down guys. It's going to stay hot. So be in it to win it. Come with your little sword and ready to battle as a buyer. And as a seller, you're going to be a winner as well. So winners I'm predicting in 2022 for anyone that gets in to the real estate market or sells. 
nice chatting with you guys. See ya. Okay. Yeah, you were perfect, and I feel like okay. I couldn't like. You were great. I didn't know if I should laugh at you. I didn't know if I should just like stick. Oh.